Hi and welcome to another episode and what we've got here is is the Christmas present I got from three of my friends. Uh, we're supposed to be doing a secret Santa but it didn't quite turn out that way. So this is what I strongly hinted at that I would want. Um, I also got some Steam games as well which I'll not bore you with uh, but we had a bit of a budget between the four of us. Um, they got some interesting things. Retro Tech Ralph, Jungle John and Sly Dive 700 is their online names as it were. Um, but Retro Tech Ralph, I believe he's bringing out his uh, Christmas present video from us today as well. So have a look over in his channel. I'll put a link in. I'm sure we're going to swap links. Let's dive into what goodies I've got. I've already had a look. So that's why there's a few empty plastic bags. But I've not actually got to use it properly yet. Um, there's the manual. So it's a cardboard box directly from China because it was actually purchased from uh, AliExpress. Not that uh, they're sponsoring anything like that because they're not. Um, but there's the manual explaining everything about it. Maybe you can have a quick read of that if you've got a really big screen. What we have is all these bits. There we go. Remote control, which I'll probably never use, but let's have a look. Get the plastic bags out of the way. And what it is, is a VFD music spectrum and clock. Um, Spectrum analyzer sort of thing, VU display, oh, that, oh I don't know. But let's take off this this thing here to clear up the screen a little bit, screen protector. Whoop. Now, the thing is, apart from you can see all the uh, reflections of everything, so I have to be careful of my uh, ugly mug coming on here, but um, I think that might be the top I'm not too sure I actually had one of these already it was given to me as a Christmas present a few years back and it basically it's the same sort of thing um, but not as good what I'll do is actually plug this one in so you get to see what this display looks like and then we'll get to see what this display looks like um, by pumping audio in from my mobile phone so back in a minute while I hook everything up well as you can see Oh, can you see? There we go. There's the resolution of the old one, and kind of annoying on the realms of setting everything up. It's just not very good. It had different modes and everything, and it it works to an extent. But when you really want to have a look at these sort of things, you want something with a bit more resolution than this, and you know, being inside a box and everything, because this thing is horrible for collecting dust. But it's a few years ago's technology. Let's move across to what's in here. And then we see the resolution that this offers. And as you can see, that's far better resolution of what's going on there. And yeah, there's some kind of glitch in the clock. I don't know. <laughs> see, it just the programming of this one's just not very good. Um, I don't know what it's doing. But this one has the clock and as I say you can an awful lot better resolutions. The instructions are somewhat informative. Tells you all the different things and all the different things you get with it. It's got sound levels of twelve kinds, it's got music spectrums of seventeen, it's got three types of clocks. Um oh. It says, please contact us for the software, decompress and double and stuff, so you can you connect the music spectrum to your PC USB via your cable, and the PC system will automatize the hardware, and you can program it from the PC, so that's nice. I didn't even know that was going to be a thing. So, yep, I'll be sending an email off to uh, them and get the bit of software, even though it's in Chinese, the... The most part seems to be in English, so that'd be really nice to be able to control it and everything. But 
as I say, there's lots of different things you can do with it, lots of different types of displays. There is actually a microphone built into the back of it. I'm just running my um, tour in the background here of different things I used to have. But um, where's all the buttons? The one they, the back here. So the microphone's hiding behind the USB input. There's a stereo little cable which you have to keep because they have put some kind of little plug thing in it. There's the menu um, and then to control the menu and to control the microphone and everything but the microphone is hiding just there. So let's blindly try to change the menu. So we can just do the right audio. I'll pick up the mic now. So actually, just to show that it is picking up the mic, unplugged. And now it's dealing with what I'm saying right now. So see? So let's um, carry on pressing menu buttons and see what it can do. It's bringing in the left and right, so that is just the microphone there. Um, let's turn this off now, get out of the way. Where's the menu button? There we go. So you can do the frequencies, you can do the levels. Uh, do a clock. Now on screen it may all seem like it's a little bit flickery. I noticed that um, some of the pixels are not as bright as the rest of them. It may well be because I'm not pumping enough um, amperage into it right now. I will have to test it on a better uh, USB plug because um, it's not plugged to my PC or anything at the moment. But um, let's see if we can do different clocks. So there we go, different font for the clock. Oh, how many did it say there was? There was. I thought it said there was only a few of them. There we go. change actually what can we do on here that was reveal type faces quite a few effects uh, it's just the same sort of thing oh there we go so it's showing the volume bouncing around but it's also showing you time and the date, which needs to be set, obviously. It's not October the 27th. 2016, even. I really need to get around to setting the clock on it. Something I'll figure out later. So I'm just pressing more buttons on the back here. Oops. Sorry. Let's try again. Just... Um, show that it does levels bounce all the way through for reveal so we've got this now and then we can change all the inputs and everything on there as normal but we can also change the style that it does it and this is something with having a lot more resolution to it you can do a lot more interesting things and making it what you want it to be we'll just show a few more other things um, so that we've got something going the wrong way, aren't I? Frequencies. Um, what have we got? Well, let's just show the for the peaks. No drop. Oh, tried to get the glare off. Sorry. So that's me messing around and talking and pressing buttons on the back. So that's the peaks and the frequencies maybe of, you know, my voice is on the deep side. So it's more to the left. So if I go squeaky, yeah, a little bit further up. So it is doing pretty well. I haven't got um, to do sweep on it and everything like that. I'm not as uh, good as maybe other channels that explain all these sort of things. Um, but for more of just a visual thing to be there more than being an accurate analyzer. I've got a feeling that this is probably aimed more at that sort of person, e.g. me. Um, but yeah, I think it does pretty well at doing this. I mean, that'd be kind of cool to have as a talking kit type thing, wouldn't it? 
But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm sure you'll see it in some point in my uh, videos later on because I'm going to be showing more about my MIDI tower. Or MIDI mountain, I always call it a tower, MIDI mountain. Uh, what else can I say with this? Uh, what I want to say is thank you very much to Retrotech Ralph, Jungle John and Slidive 700. You know who you are. Thank you very much for getting me for this Christmas. It's really nice to get such things. I hope you've enjoyed what you're getting. Um, I'll leave them to mention in the comments of what they've got, just in case they want to keep it to private. You know, it's up to them. But uh, I know what they got, and quite frankly, it got to a point of uh, I wouldn't mind one of them myself. <laughs> just being greedy. But anyway, as always, click down in the description, check out the Discord, check out oh, Patreons, check out everything. Just check out everything, come join everything, click the likes, subscribe. But as always, happy gaming.